Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, this is what I do for kind of like therapy. I, uh, when Toby sent me the fat wood, he sent me a bunch of these in a box. And so what I do is I just sit here and it's kind of like whittling, but you save your whittles. And uh, it helps me a lot because sometimes you need to take your mind off things, you know. So what I do is I just sit here and just shave on fat wood. Uh, I put it in a bag, you know, so I can use it for fat wood Friday. But uh, it really helps because sometimes your mind can be too active. At least mine can. I start thinking about things and thinking about this and that. And what this is coming from is um, yesterday I got paid. And so I went down to the store. Now, normally I usually go to the local uh, H-E-B, you know, grocery store. But uh, this time I went to Walmart. And uh, we're still in the middle of a pandemic, but you couldn't tell it, you know, by the people. So I wore a mask, but there were very few people that were wearing a mask. And yeah, you know, there's a 99% survivability rate, but... Who wants to get sick? I mean, you know, I'm trying to be the one that doesn't get it at all. They're trying to say that, you know, all these versions that are coming out, um, it's going to get you, you know, and all that. Well, I don't think much about that. Well, anyways, when I got home, my throat started hurting. And uh, I don't have any uh, medical insurance. I can't just go to a doctor, you know. It's got to be really serious. Like, life and death serious. So, naturally, what you always think of is, you know, ah, maybe I got hit by Rona. Well, America also doesn't have, uh, you know, other countries have rapid tests and stuff like that for free and all this. Um, you know, unless, you're, unless your city's got a test site and everything, you're going to have to do that on your own. And um, most test kits on Amazon start off at, like, $17.00. And uh, they go up. And the one that's $17 is not in stock, you know. You'll get it eventually. Well, what good does that do it? You know, you want to know if you've got, you know, the the bad stuff now instead of later. Later can be too late. So, <clears throat> this is not acting like that. It's acting like, you know, there's some swelling in my throat on the right side and whenever this happens I usually think about people that uh, have it worse than me and so I just kind of like try to ignore this stuff uh, I have put myself on some antibiotics just in case and uh, I'm not running a fever or anything like that although I kind of felt like I was there for a while it's one of those things where you just hope it resolves itself you know, but uh, one thing that helps me keep get that off my mind is to do this whittling. See how this one's all rough and everything, and this one's down to the fat wood. That's basically as far as I go with them. I try to get them all smooth and fat woody feeling, and uh, the smell is great too. Now some people, you know, might s smell pine and get a different association with it. You know, it might remind them of a hospital. Or, uh, you know, because they used to use stuff called pine saw disinfectant. And it's a real strong pine smell. So if your association with pine is hospitals and everything, it might not be as therapeutic for you. But for me, it's, it's just, uh, it reminds me of woods, piney woods and stuff. And it's, it is a good smell. So I just sit here and whittle and carve and... Try not to worry. Whittle your worries away. I'm not as good as, uh, you know, I look at some of these people that do wood carvings, and man, it's amazing. They sketch out stuff, and pretty soon they got a little owl or, you know, a Santa Claus or something. Um, I can go down to more of the simple stuff, you know. Try to, try to just uh, get this fairly flat and not... You know, spiny and sticky. So, yeah. Um, sometimes you just have to do things on your own. Now, next year, 
I'll be available for Medicaid and uh, I'll be able to have, you know, insurance and everything. But, you know, next year's a long way off. A lot can happen. Like I said, I'm not I'm not super worried about it. I you know I took an aspirin for the pain because it feels like a lump in my throat. Now one time before I had a salivary gland. This was when I was in New Mexico. That uh, you got like a couple of salivary glands on either side. Say this is your tongue, and on either side you got these saliva glands. Some of the main ones, and when you chew, they shoot out saliva. Well. Uh, one of them was blocked, and so every time you chew, it tried to shoot out saliva, but it couldn't, and it would back up into the saliva gland and puff up and everything, and uh, eventually, a little sliver of like rice or something, a hard calcified piece of something, uh, came out, and then, you know, it was able, the saliva was able to go on its own and so at first I thought that was what's going on with this but now I'm not so sure because this is lower down in the throat anyways I'm not asking for sympathy or anything I'm just saying that um, when you get older you're gonna run into more medical issues and you know if you've got a wife or close family or everything you can get some reassurance but here you know um, I'm on my own. I can't even talk to a cat. I don't even have a cat to talk to. So I'm basically just saying that um, this is what I do for therapy when I run into stuff like this. Instead of worrying about, oh, what could it be? What is this? Is? I'm just going to take my antibiotics and um, hope for the best. And if it gets to the point where I need to go to the hospital, it's got to be an emergency room type thing. And... You really don't want to do that. I mean, most people don't want to go to a hospital or put up with a hospital. Sometimes you don't have a choice. But, yeah, it's just kind of like I said, a rambly video where um, just letting you guys know that when, I, when I'm not feeling good, I don't make as many videos. You know, I mean, I, I, I may watch videos and stuff, but I don't have an opportunity to make them. Because uh, it's hard to do anything when you're in pain, you know. And this pain isn't super great. It's more psychological. You know, like, oh, shit, what if it's this? What if it's that? Um, but, yeah, I'll be all right or I won't, you know. I mean, basically, it comes, it comes down to that. You know, not much you can do. You do the best you can. Self-medicate, self-doctor, you know, I've done all kinds of stuff that probably should have gone to a doctor for, but uh, either couldn't afford it or um, there wasn't a doctor available. I'm not recommending that to anybody. I mean, you know, if you got a choice, go to a doctor, but uh, here in America, man, you got to have money. You got to have insurance. You got to have money. Um, some hospitals, like state hospitals, are required to take you whether you got money or not. But, man, your treatment is a lot different. Even if you later on pay your bill, they really treat you badly, from my experience. They treat you worse than cattle uh, when they don't think they're going to get paid. So, you're pretty much on your own. That's the way it goes. There. So, yeah, this is, like I said, it's it's kind of fun. Um, and, and if it's not fun, at least it gives your, your hand and your mind something to think about, you know, something to concentrate on, like, oh, I need to make this smoother over here. Instead of, ah, I wonder what this lump is in my throat. Will it go away on its own? Why did it appear so quickly and, you know... If it would have happened any other time, I wouldn't even think about the possibility of picking up something. But because I was out in public, uh, there's always that possibility that you're going to get something you don't want. So, anyways, that's all I got to say on that. 
Um, don't forget um, our buddy like Warthog. He's still out there. And uh, he's going through a lot. Other people are recovering from things. Some people are, you know, fighting cancer and things like that. So there are people a lot worse off than me. It's, this is just a, a psychological thing right now. Um, but I think I'll be all right. And usually, you know, like, <laughs> I remember one time I was sitting there and I had forgotten when I was sharpening a knife, I was putting the knife on my chest you know, right by my heart, and I was holding it there, and I was sharpening the knife. Well, the next day, I kind of forgot about sharpening the knife, and I had a pain in my chest, and I was thinking, oh, man, what is this? And I was pushing on, I could feel it was right by the ribs, and I was going, wow, what would cause this? This is too hard to be a heart, you know, but what could cause this and everything? And it took me a while to finally remember, you were sharpening a knife. You basically bruised yourself. You didn't notice it until the next day. So after a day, that pain went away, you know. So sometimes it's not always good to blow things off, you know. Sometimes early, catching things early is going to save you a lot more. But um, in this case, I thought about ordering, you know, a rapid test and everything else. But uh, the inexpensive ones, inexpensive is like $18. The inexpensive ones are not in stock. And they might get them within a week or two. Well, what good is that going to do you, you know? And uh, the next available one is like $26. Now, this is on Amazon. So I could probably go to a grocery store or something like that and pick one up for a lot less. Because a lot of times, just like case knives, I was looking at rust locks. And uh, most places like Blade HQ and uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, um, rust locks go anywhere from like, 60 something dollars on up to maybe 80 or so well on amazon they start off at like 115 125 130 you know for yeah you can find some of the the ones that are not in stock in uh in blade hq or um i also looked at uh shepherd hill calorie you know there's there's a cup there's a couple of places i know to get case knives but uh amazon you know if you can get them yeah they've got the advantage of getting it to you fast but they're going to jack up the price a lot of times on stuff so i'll yeah that's that's all i gotta say on that one i guess so yeah see this guy's starting to get smoothed out and i've got that smell of pine going and i'm just going to try to calm down I'm not worry about things. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, I mean, kind of stoic on stuff like that. There's no use worrying about some. If you worry about some, it's better to, to do some action. You know, like if if there's something bothering, it's better to take some kind of action to, to sit there and run it through your head. Oh, what if it's this? What if it's that? That isn't going to help you at all. The time spent worrying is time that you won't get back. You basically wasted a lot of your time and given yourself undue anxiety for no particular reason. But my mom was a worrier. She used to worry a lot about all kinds of stuff. And I guess some of that is either genetic or learned behavior. I try not to do that. Anyways, I've rambled on long enough. I'll be all right. Don't worry about me. I'll let you know if I croak. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, and have a good day.